A warm welcome to the sixth and last film in our Double Skin Facade series, in which we explain how to go about designing transitions at the base of a building, windows and eaves. Irrespective of the relative heights of the building floor and the surrounding ground, the base of a building is characterised largely by the transition from a single skin underground wall structure to an overground double skin wall structure. There is no sense in sinking an expensive double skin wall into the ground. The base of the building should nevertheless be recessed a few centimetres into the ground to ensure that the solid appearance of the facade corresponds to that of a building growing out of the ground. Another decision to be made is whether the base of the building should mark the transition to a more resistant material, as in our Provost Church in Leipzig here on the left, or whether the bricks of the facing skin should run right down into the ground, as in our Berlin School of Hotel Management on the right. You can see from these two photographs that the ventilation openings at the base of the building are barely visible. The design of window reveals and lintels is determined by how deeply they are set into the walls. The simplest type of construction is to rebate the windows behind the facing skin. This means that the window and the insulation run in the same plane, but it also reveals the true thickness of the facing skin, or rather the lack of it. The further a window is pushed back towards the interior of the building, the more sculptural the opening will look. However, it also makes fitting the insulation material more complicated. Window sills and lintels are often quite different in design. On the left here, you can see Regensburg Technical College, where a stretcher bond runs right across the edges of the window openings. This is only possible because the bricks were cut down to form one centimetre thick veneer bricks that are bonded to the precast reinforced concrete blocks behind them. The Arweiler Conference Centre on the right features precast reinforced concrete lintels and sills as a visible design element. At the eaves, you have to decide whether the gutter will be suspended in front of the outer edge of the building or set on the wall. As you can see when you compare these two drawings, this also affects the shape of the roof structure. If the gutter sits on the wall, the rafter joint is pushed further toward the inside of the roof. Where there is a roof overhang, the picture is quite different because the rafters have to extend beyond the exterior wall and an alternative method of attaching the guttering has to be found. This is not an option for our practice building, which means you can concentrate solely on the decision between suspended and surface set guttering. Summary The base of a building marks the transition from a single skin underground wall structure to an overground double skin wall structure. The base is recessed a few centimetres into the ground to give the facade a solid appearance. The design of window reveals and lintels is determined by the position of the windows. Their installation position, rebated against the facing skin in the centre or set further into the building, either reveals or conceals the structure of the double skin facade. Our next series of films looks at construction details. We hope you will be able to join us.